Well, continuing, this tweet was to me and Kyle Brand from Lee in Vancouver. Aaron just gave the weakest time to die ever spoken. What? Time to die. What, you mean that one? Time to die. It's not very strong, is it? Time to die. You tell me which one's stronger. Aaron? Time to die. Axel? One. Time to die. That one. Time to die. Next time somebody gets run, they get the LT hammer and they get the Aaron. Time, Time to die. Time to die. You get both. Boy, that guy's just busting people up, talking junk, laying it down, man. Taking a two by four to cats. Time to die. Scathing, Aaron. Hey, Aaron, what time? Aaron, what time is it? Time to die. Aaron, you uh, you got the time? Time to die. Ah, damn, I forgot my watch. Hey, Aaron, what time is it? Time to die. All right, let's keep moving. Hack off 2012. We've had four callers. Three of them have been run. Ish for running on at the mouth. Ryan for being Ryan. Aaron for saying, time to die. Time to die. Here's somebody who asked in. And why, I'm not sure, but it worked. He's old school. He goes back with me in this show to probably the Scrub Saturday show and maybe even before that to the night show. So when a guy like that asks, there's no way I say no. Let's go to Chino, the CEO of the show, Pat and Chino. My man, Pat. What's up, Pat? How are you? Hey, Jimmy. What's happening, bro? What's up, CEO? Do your thing. Yeah, anyway... You know, Jim, for living in Chino, we, you know, we get a bad rap out here. Just, you know, just because we got a couple of prisons and a lot of yard art, little fight problem, but do that cow fog, it, it's awesome, dude. It does make it a bad place to live. Anyway, you know, some say we're truthful to that. Hey, just because Doc Mike won't cross north of the 91 doesn't mean we have plenty of folks who can take the bell standards of those beaver-like choppers, slap on souvenirs, boom, they're done. Ridiculous. Anyway, I want to wish all the moms a happy Mother's Day. You know, we have a little family reunion of our own coming up for a few scattered friends and family, Jim. Tonight, actually, a second cousin stopped by for a little nibble, and then he's got to go to George's house for some unknown reason. No idea why. Anyway, I want to do a huge shout-out to Uncle Shanny and Big Daddy Randy. And, Jim, the last fact about Chino, 63% of all the houses do have indoor plumbing. Anyways, Jim, thanks for the, uh, letting me come in today. I gotta go take a district attorney. Wait. Thanks, Pat. Very edgy, Pat. Way to walk that line, Pat. Way to have a family reunion for the rat family. Uncle Shanny and Big Daddy Randy. Well, at least I can say that's not four out of five that got run. Pat, Pat in Chino is one of those guys who's trying desperately, constantly to bring back the Rat family. I've already said the Rat family is never coming back. You can have your own family reunion. You can invite Uncle Shanny and Big Daddy Randy. It's just not happening. That guy goes back to almost day one. How does that guy not know to not turn the music down? Not know to not try to bring the Rat family back? Pat, my man, I say this, I say this as an old friend. You've always been a good guy and a bad caller. Pat, I hate to do this to you, bro, because I love you. And yeah, we're always going to be good, man. Hey, bro's got to be straight. I can't tell, look, I don't want my boys to tell me what I want to hear. I want them to tell me what I need to hear. So I'm going to tell you not what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. We'll always be boys. You're a great guy. You're a bad caller. Pat, I'm sorry to have to do this to you. Time to die. But he didn't get run. Pat knows, man. Pat's good at a lot of things. Calling the show is not one of them. Hack off continues. Hey, man, it, I hate to have to do that to my guy. It's the freaking hack off. I'm looking for an A or an F. I'm getting C's. The event does not survive on C's. Give me an A or give me an F. Who's got what it takes? Who's got what it takes? 